Here's three steps to how you can record a webinar, but also four real life examples of how you can use the webinar recording afterwards to make sure you get a ton of exposure and leads for your business. My name is Jonathan. I'm one of the co-founders of Univid, a webinar platform to create engaging webinars in 60 seconds. Let's go. First of all, a few great examples of why you should record your webinar is the following. Use the webinars to generate awareness in social media posts. You can put them as lead magnets on your website. You can enrich blog posts on your website to really be uh, following the EEAT formula by Google to really show that you know and have expertise in the subject that you're talking about and what better way to do it through interactive video. Also, you can put your webinars up on Google or YouTube for video SEO so people can find your search words uh, just like you maybe found this video. So you can build out an interactive help center that people actually get help from and can engage with in an interactive manner, meaning with video and not just blocks of text that are very boring to uh, consume. So uh, let's jump into how we record a webinar, uh, doing it in three steps. Step number one is to record the webinar. Preferably this is done through a webinar software like Univid, and I'll show you how you can do this now. You can also use a local software, for example OBS, um, where you can uh, record the webinar and produce it locally and then upload it. Um, Univid is a webinar platform where you can record webinars uh, and do it for free. So we'll start by, by going into the studio. Uh, here we can select our different web cameras. I'll uh, use my uh, small one for this. Now we're inside of the Univid webinar studio. We can also share our screen in here. We can make sure everything looks good. We can have some different views, for example, a podcast view, like a split view, or uh, just share the presentation. Uh, once we're ready, we can simply press go live. This is where we uh, start the recording from as well. So essentially now we'll be seen by the participants if we do have any. If we don't, we'll just start the recording. So um, just like this, uh, the recording is now started and we are live. Now we can have our either live webinar or without an audience, just uh, do a webinar recording. That's it. We're now finished with our broadcast and we can simply press end broadcast. That's it. The, um, stream is now finished, the attendees cannot see us anymore, and we can also decide to leave the studio. The second step is about accessing the recording. Now that the webinar is finished and the time is over, we go into the end webinar state. This will allow us to see the recording of the webinar. And the third and final step is deciding how we want to share our webinar recording. So here we do have a few options. You can decide to publish the recording on YouTube afterwards, then you would simply record the video in OBS or in Univid. You could then download the recording so you have it on your computer and upload it on uh, to YouTube. This is a great way for kind of getting uh, video SEO and uh, it will be searchable and people can find it that way. So it's very open and easy to access. The downside is you don't get any good statistics and you don't know uh, who converted because you don't have a way for people to convert. So uh, not very good if you are looking to kind of generate leads in that way, but Top Funnel is uh, kind of good on YouTube. Um, the webinar recording can also be available on your webinar software. So essentially enabling uh, the on-demand mode in, for example, Univid. There you could use the same webinar link as you used when you were live or simply make the webinar available on demand uh, if you want that only. Uh, so great if you don't want to host the video yourself, uh, you can let the webinar platform do the work and you'll get a ton of great statistics and have kind of this gated uh, through a registration form or similar where you can uh, get your leads and uh, you can get all of the data into let's say HubSpot or your CRM automatically so you know kind of who, who is interested and who isn't. Also, you can repurpose your webinar uh, recording into shorts. This you can then put on, let's say, LinkedIn or YouTube Shorts on, or even on TikTok. It's a great way to kind of generate awareness. Uh, you can really get some viral clips and position yourself as a thought leader with interactive and engaging content that you uh, can push out uh, in, in volumes. And these can be great teasers for your upcoming webinars or uh, put you on the kind of map. Um, so these are great for awareness, but maybe not too much for conversion, but you can always plug your upcoming or the full webinar in as a link in the comments. The fourth one is to simply embed the webinar on your own website as a lead magnet. There you would uh, simply go into the webinar on the mon mode. Here you would uh, press the embed button and then you can copy an event code and simply uh, you'll have that HTML code. You will input it on your own website. You don't have to worry about, uh, let's say, 
downloading and uploading, uh, hosting the video, you can simply enjoy the, the lead magnet uh, and put it on your website and you'll have a bunch of traffic going to your website, which is also a good thing. Um, but the statistics is something you will have to kind of figure out a bit more on your own in this way. I hope this was a good video. I showed you three steps to kind of generating a webinar recording from nothing more than your web camera. Also, uh, four examples of how you can use webinar recording afterwards to drive leads and awareness for your business. And please check out Univid if you're interested in hosting webinars uh, and doing it blazingly fast. Also, speaking about webinar recordings, a great way to repurpose a previous webinar is to actually simulate it as it would be live. I talk about simulated live webinars in this video, so I would really recommend you to check that out and see how you can simulate a live webinar using Univid. See you in the next one. Ciao!